Hi everybody, welcome to Z's Good News, where I share the good news about Jesus Christ and you breathe in the good news. Jesus this channel, we ask Jesus, how can we serve for you? And what would you like your kinsmen to know? Before every video, we love to start with prayer. Oh, dear Jesus, help us to remain true to your most holy word at all times. Give us the strength to uphold the truth of your church in the face of adversity. Fill me with the graces to administer the holy sacraments and the ways in which you taught us. Help me to feed your church with the bread of life and remain loyal to, to you, even when I'm prohibited, even when we are all prohibited from doing so. Free us from the chain of deceit we may face in order to proclaim the true word of God. Cover all your sacred servants with your precious blood at all times so that we will remain courageous, loyal, and steadfast in our allegiance to you, our blessed, beloved Savior. Amen. Now, Jesus would like us to suffer by reading the book of truth, and he wants us all to have a relationship with him more than being conformed to a religion. A lot of us have to find Jesus on our own. He doesn't want us to be conformed to this world, the spirit of religion. He wants a relationship with his children right now. That's what he's calling for. And he wants us to be aware of the evil, wicked, crafty schemes of the enemy he will try everything, and I mean everything, to get us to believe that our faith isn't real, Jesus isn't real, he's made up, paradise isn't real, heaven isn't real, and they're all lies. They're coming from the main deceiver. He's a liar. He comes to kill, steal, destroy. We don't need him to be chirping in our ear. We need to confide with Jesus. Jesus is asking us to converse with him confide in him and cast our burdens on him in addition to he wants us to cast our burdens on him but really give it all to him he doesn't want us to hold on to anything once we cast our burdens on him we can't fear because the lord didn't give us the spirit of fear but mighty power love and a sound mind fear comes from the enemy and when his fear come around the problem festers the, the problem expands so when we pray to god we have to really Give it up to him. Give it all to him and just place it on his heart and take it away from ours so we won't have to feel that it's a problem anymore. Once we gave it to Jesus, we gave it to him. And he sent us a prayer. It goes like, Jesus, I hand you over all my concerns in this matter in confidence so that the problem is now yours to resolve according to your most holy will. In addition to these are the prayers from the book of truth, Jesus still wants us to just confide in him, converse with him like we're friends because he is friends to those who do his commands and he's willing to talk to anybody. You see that he's not talking back? Continue to talk to him. Continue to talk to him. Pour out your heart to Jesus. And then get in the word. He could have a word for you right then and there. And just ask him, Lord, is there a scripture that you want me to read right now? Play around with the pages. And if you feel led to just stop somewhere and read, that's probably where you got to. Jesus talks in so many different ways because God communicates with us in so many different ways. Cash your burdens on the Lord. And while we're gaining our relationship with Jesus, he wants us to pray for everybody. He wants us to pray for humanity. Not pray for this world, but pray for his children in this world. Um, he wanted me to share that human greed is expanding and he isn't liking what he's seeing. He weeps when his children basically don't even believe in him, don't confide in him, don't trust him or anything. And he also is crying because he sees the things that we don't see. He sees the global plans, the corrupt plans of wicked, corrupt global leaders and rulers and their plans to deplete world population, meaning kill us. He's crying that we not asking him for wisdom, not asking him for guidance, and just not praying. The sin of greed is expanding thoroughly. And he is telling us that humanity is going down a wicked path, a dirty path, to gain wealth in the expense of others. He wants me to share that. Those people, if they don't turn from their evil, corrupt acts, just to gain money and wealth from this world, 
he's going to turn their, his back on them. And they won't make it to God's kingdom, but right into Satan's den. That's all on today's video. I hope you learned a lot. I hope this makes you want to talk to Jesus because he's standing at the door knocking like Revelations 3 verse 20 says. <laughs> he's knocking on the door at your heart and he's telling you to open up. Because why not? It's Jesus. He's really a nice friend. I pray that you read the book of truth. Link below. Um, all of these prayers will be mentioned and we'll chat soon, fam. Thank you.